So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and it's been quite a while. Uh, it's been a little quiet on From Software's side, but today guys, we have patch notes for the version 1.07 patch and it's absolutely humongous. So you may just want to sit back and relax because it's going to take a while. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so getting straight into it, this new update brings balance adjustments to improve the stability of gameplay. Many changes were brought to spells, skills, incantations and weapons to encourage more versatility in terms of gameplay. And please note that online play requires the player to apply this update. And targeted platforms are obviously PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S as well as Steam. So let's get into it with additional features added separate damage scaling for pvp which is absolutely massive this feature allows separate damage scaling for weapon skills spells and incantations when playing against other players in the future this feature may be used to balance weapons art spell and incantations in invading slash pvp mode balance adjustments made within this feature uh, will not impact single player and cooperative play so that is actually quite a big change already guys Okay, so PvP exclusive balance adjustments. The adjustments in this section do not affect single player or cooperative play. Increased stamina attack power in PvP for all attacks against guarded foes except for long ranged weapons. Improved poise damage in PvP for every weapon's normal attack except for skills and long range weapons. With a few exceptions, the power of Ashes of War in PvP has been lowered across the board. The power of the following incantations in PvP have been decreased. Dragonfire, Aegis Flame, Glintstone Breath, Smarag's Glintstone Breath, Rotten Breath, Ezekiel's Decay, Dragon Nice, Borealis Mist, and Unendurable Frenzy. Pretty cool for you PvP players out there. General balance adjustments. The adjustments in this section affect both PvE and PvP aspects of the game. Increased poise damage when using two handed normal attacks. Increase the speed of some colossal sword attacks. The speed and hit detection of colossal sword, crouching, and rolling attacks have been decreased. Increase the speed of some colossal weapon attacks. Decrease recovery time for colossal swords and colossal weapons, except for jump attacks, dual wielded attacks, and attacks while riding. Increased poise damage of hammers, great hammers and some colossal weapons. Increased guard penetration for the following weapons. Celebrant Sickle, Nox Flowing Sword, the Shuttle, Eclipse Shuttle, Vulgar Militia Shuttle, the Scythe, the Grave Scythe, the Halo Scythe and the Wing Scythe. The poise rating of some attacks has been increased for the following weapons. Great swords, colossal swords, curved great swords, great axes, great hammers, great spears and halberds. With some exceptions, poise of all arm has been increased. The effects of the great shield talisman and hammer talisman has been increased. Some effects of the spell, uh, the scholar's shield, the barricade shield skill and the shield grease item have been adjusted as follows. The effects on shields with low guard boost has been adjusted upward. The effects on shield with uh, high boost have been adjusted downward. The guard strength of the fingerprint stone shield has been decreased. Decrease the status buildup done by dual wielding weapons. Okay, so balance adjustments for magic and incantations. Upward adjustments. Glintstone Pebble, the Shard Spow, increased attack power. The Lightning Spear, Flame Sling, increased attack power when charged. Rejection, a Rafa Gold, Black Flame, increased stamina, attack power against guarded enemies. The Crystal Burst, Triple Rings of Light, increased casting speed. Assassin's Approach, Law of Casualty, extended effect time. Glintstone, Ice Crag, Freezing Mist, and Frozen Armament, increased Frostbite status buildup. Poison Mist and Poison Armament increase Poison status buildup. Glintstone Arc, Glintstone Phalanx, Carrion Phalanx, Great Blade Phalanx, Magic Downpour, Loretta's Great Ball, Loretta's Mastery, Renella's Full Moon, Rana's Dark Moon, Ambush Shard, Night Shard, Unseen Blade, Rolling Magma, Rykar's Rancor, Darkness, Elden Stars, Lightning Strike, Lansex's Glaive, Dark Lightning, Giant Flame, Take the Blood Flame Talons, An Endurable Frenzy, and Grail's Roar, Decreased FP Consumption. Wow. Glintstone Stars, Magma Shot, Blood Boon, 
decreased FB consumption and increased attack power. Aspects of the Crucible Tail, Aspects of the Crucible Horn, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Spear, Fortisax's Lightning Spear, Flame upon them. Decreased FP consumption and increased stamina attack power against guarded enemies. Glintstone Comet Shard, Comet Cannon of Hamia, Carrying Greatsword. Decreased FP consumption, increased attack power and stamina attack against guarded enemies. Rancor Cool, Ancient Death Rancor. Decreased FP consumption and extended the lifespan of all vengeful spirits. Briars of Sin, Briars of Punishment, decreased FP consumption and against uh, the Bloodlust status build upon enemies, increased casting speed. Gravel of Hamia, reduced FP and stamina consumption, increased stamina attack power against guards, and the power of the hammer portion of the attack. Shatter Earth, reduced FP consumption, increased poise damage and stamina attack against guards, increased certain portions of the spell's hitbox and shortened recovery time. Rock Blaster Reduced FP consumption, increased poise and stamina attack against guards, increased certain portions of the spell's hitbox. Starlight Reduced FP consumption and extended the duration of effect. Stars of Ruin Reduced FP and stamina consumption, increased power when charged. Founding Rain of Stars Reduced FP and stamina consumption, shorten time before damage is dealt, extended the range of the star rain. Magic Limp Blade, increased poise damage, attack power and stamina attack power against guarded enemies when charged. Carrion Piercer, reduced FP consumption, increased attack power and stamina attack power against guarded enemies, shorten the recovery time. Adula's Moon Blade, reduced FP consumption and increased stamina attack power and frostbite status build up against guarded enemies with the sword slash portion. Gomia's Fury, reduced FP consumption and increased attack power, increased casting speed and shortened recovery time. Adjusted the direction of the lava projectiles to make it easier to hit enemies located in front of the spell. Increased the damage dealt by the first part of the spell and greatly increased the ability to stagger enemies. Zamer Ice Storm increased attack power and thrust by status buildup. Increased casting speed and short and recovery time. Shattering Crystal reduced FP and stamina consumption, increased poise damage and stamina attack power against guarded enemies. Increased power when charged and increased casting speed. Crystal Release reduced FP consumption, increased poise and stamina attack power against guarded enemies. Increased casting speed and shortened the recovery time. Increased attack range. Adjusted the poise, increased time and during activation. Aurica Bubbles can be used while in motion. Streamlined attack range and increased attack power when charged. Extended the time it takes for the bubble to burst when not charged. Damage hitbox is being adjusted to be larger against players. Reduce the number of projectiles that can appear at the same time. Great Oracle Bubble can now be used while in motion. Increased attack power, increased tracking performance, increased stamina attack power against guarded enemies. Explosive Ghost Flame increased attack power and stamina attack power against guarding enemies. Increased frostbite status buildup of the explosion. Range of the residual flame has been slightly increased. Damage detection time has been reduced. TB is summons, reduced FP consumption and increased attack power, increased casting speed, reduced recovery time. Discus of light, reduced FP and stamina consumption, increased the range speed and duration of the halo, increased casting speed. Radagon Ring of Light, reduced FP consumption and recovery time. Frozen Lightning Spear, reduced FP consumption and increased the frostbite status buildup. Flame of the Fell God. Reduced FP consumption, increased stamina attack power against guarded enemies, increased attack power when charged, shortened damage detection, time of residual fire. Whirl or Flame, reduced FP consumption, increased uh, stamina attack power against guarding enemies, increased ability to stagger enemies. Burn or Flame, reduced FP consumption, shorten the time it takes for flame player to be generated. Scaring Black Flame, increased stamina attack power against guarding enemies and increased poise damage when charged. Noble Presence, increased stamina consumption and increased stamina attack power against guarded enemies and shorten recovery time. Beast Claw increased the range of the Shockwave. Durank's Beast Claw added a hitbox to the first part of the spell. Increased attack power when charged. Stone of Durank increased stamina consumption, increased attack power and stamina attack power against guarding enemies. Extended the impact area of projectiles. Scarlet Aeonia reduced FP consumption, increased attack power, poise damage, and uh, stamina attack power against guarding enemies. 
Landing with attack range has been increased and its recovery time decreased. Adjusted the poise increase time and during activation. Frenzied burst. Increased poise damage and attack power when charged. Howl of Shibiri. Extended duration of the effect that increases attack power and lowers defensive power. Inescapable frenzy. Reduced FP and stamina consumption. Shortened recovery time and increased grapple range. Dragon Claw. Reduce FP consumption, increase stamina attack power against guarding enemies, increase directional combat. And Dragon Maw. Reduce FP consumption, increase stamina attack power against guarding enemies. The hitbox around Dragon's neck area has been enlarged to make it easier to hit enemies at close range. Now we have upwards and downwards adjustments. Black Blade. Reduce stamina consumption, improve tuning performance and shorten recovery time. The sword and the wave attack have been changed so that they hit at the same time. Attack stamina, stamina attack power and poise damage of each part has been decreased. Decrease the number of times a wave part hits large enemies. And Bestial Sling. Reduce a stone fragment, a uh, scatter randomness. Increase stamina attack power against guarding enemies. Reduced uh, between two hits and adjusted the detection so that two hits are always made at close range. And decreased poise damage. Now we have downwards adjustments with just one thing here. Rotten Breath, Ezekiel's Decay. Reduce Scarlet Rot status effect buildup. Okay, so balance adjustments of skills, upward adjustments, Glintstone Pebble, Surge of Faith, Gold Breaker, Regal Beast Claw, Nebula, and Sacred Phalanx, increase attack power. Sword Dance, Valor the Edomitable, Yo Chase Dancing Blade, reduces delay between the end of various actions, such as using items and attack animations, and being able to perform the skill. Sacred Order, Shared Order, Soul Stifler, Knowledge Above All, and Barricade Shield, extended effect time. Take his Flames, and Mikula's Ring of Light. Added damage detection to the weapon part. Prayerful Strike and Great Serpent Hunt. Increased power and poise damage. Wild Strike, Spinning Strike. Shorten the time between various actions and activation of skills. Slightly increased attack power. Ground Slam, Golden Slam, and Erdry Slam. Reduce the power between using the skill and being able to roll. Increased attack power. Stomp, Upper Court, Stomp, Sweep. Reduce the delay between the end of various actions, such as using items and attack animations, and being able to perform the skill. Increased attack power. Reduce the timing between the end of the skill and performing actions other than the strong attack. Impaling thrust. Increased motion speed and attack power. Reduce the delay between the end of various actions, such as using items and attack animations, and being able to perform the skill. Reduce the timing between the end of the skill and being able to attack and to roll. Piercing Fang. Increase motion speed, attack power, and poise damage. Reduce the delay between the end of various actions, such as using items and attack animations, and being able to perform the skill. Reduce the time between the end of the skill and being able to attack and roll. Spinning Slash. Increase poise damage against enemies when used with the following weapons Great Sword, Curved Great Sword, Twin Blade, Great Axe, Spear, Great Spear, Halberd, and Reaper. Charge forth, increase directional control and movement speed, reduce the delay between the end of various actions, such as using items or attack animations, and being able to perform this skill. Blood tax, increase motion speed and attack power, increase HP depreciation effect, reduce the delay between the end of various actions, and being able to perform this skill. Repeating thrust, increase motion speed, reduce the delay between the end of various actions, and being able to perform the skill. Giant Hunt, increase poise damage, reduce the delay between the end of various actions again, such as using items and attack animations and being able to perform this skill. Lure a Slash, increase poise damage for the first attack and reduce the delay between end of various actions and being able to perform this skill. Poise Moth Fight, increase poison status buildup and the power against poisoned enemies, increase the duration and damage of poison. Reduce the delay between the end of various actions and being able to perform this skill. Stonecaller, increase motion speed, attack power and poise damage. Increase the skill size and poise damage. Sacred Blade, increase motion speed and range of the blade. Added damage detection to the weapon part. Increase effect duration and attack power that gives the weapon holy power. Bloody Slash, increase death buildup and attack power. Reduce the delay between the end of various actions and being able to perform this skill. A life steel fist, increase motion speed and attack power, increased attack range and against other players. Reduce the delay between the end of various actions and being able to perform the skill. Eruption, increase the range and duration of lava, adding the hitbox to the part of the attack where their weapon is slammed. Fix the timing of the poise increased during activation. 
Gravitas, increased poise during casting, stone blade, increased motion speed and range of the blade, added damage detection for the weapon part to reduce the delay between the end of various actions and being able to perform the skill. Flaming Strike increased duration and attack power that grants the weapon a fire attribute and reduced the delay between end of various actions and being able to perform the skill. Lightning Slash increased duration and attack power that grants the weapon a lightning attribute, reduced the delay between end of various actions and being able to perform the skill, and reduced the delay between using the skill and being able to attack. Vacuum Slice increased motion speed and range of the blade. Reduced FP consumption, added damage detection to the weapon par. Sacred Ring of Light, increased range and speed of the projectile halo have been increased, added damage detection to the weapon par. Blood Blade, increased power, added damage detection to the weapon par, and reduced the delay between the various actions and being able to perform the skill. Phantom Slash, increased directional control, reduced the delay between the various actions and being able to perform the skill. Man, it feels like I've said that about a million times, I'm not gonna lie. Spectral Lance increased attack power, reduced long range damage fall off. Chilly Mist increased motion speed, increased duration of the weapon's thrust by effect. Poisonous Mist increased motion speed, increased duration of the weapon's poison effect. Shield Bash increased stamina attack power against guarded enemies. Enhanced Shot increased arrow speed. Kick increased poise damage and attack power against guarded enemies. Crag Blade extended effect duration, increased attack power, poise damage, and stamina attack against guarded enemies. Warcry extended effect duration, reduced the delay between the end of various actions and being able to perform the skill. The power of strong attacks during the duration of the effect has been increased while using the following weapons Straight Sword, Curve Sword, Katana, Axe, Hammer, Flail, Spear, Great Spear, Halberd, Reaper, Fist One Handed, and Claw One Handed. The Troll's Roar, increased attack power, fixed the timing of the poise, increased during activation. Ragat's Roar, extended duration of the effect, increased attack power, defense, and stamina recovery speed. Endure, extended effect duration, added an effect that prevents staggers caused by blood loss and frostbite status buildup, extended effect duration, reduced the time between skill activation and being able to perform actions other than attacking. Holy Ground increased HP recovery amount. Rapture the Mist reduced FP consumption. Flame Spit improved projectile range. Tongues of Fire reduced stamina consumption. Great Oracle Bubble extended the amount of time that the large bubbles stay in place. Track performance and range of the large bubbles have been improved. The Viper Bite increased attack power and poison status buildup. Extended poison effect duration and increased damage caused by poison. Moonlight Greatsword. Reduced stamina consumption for strong and charged attacks. Added damage detection for the weapon part. Saluria's Wall. Increased motion speed, attack power, and poise during activation. Added damage detection to the weapon part. The projectile now penetrates enemies and some objects when changed. Reduvia Blood Blade. Increased attack power, added damage detection to the weapon part. Glintstone Dart. Increased range, speed, and attack power of magic attacks. Magic attacks now penetrate enemies when not charged. Night and Flame Stance increased attack power. The attack direction may now be adjusted up and down when using a normal attack. Added damage detection to the weapon part. Runius Ghost Flame increased the duration of attack power and poise damage of the effect that gives a weapon a magic attribute. Shorten the time between various actions and the activation of the skill. Reduce the time between the skill activation and being able to perform actions. Spear Core Ritual, increased attack power, reduced damage detection time. Wolf the Salt, increased poise during casting. Thundercloud Form, increased directional control. Regal Roar, extended effect duration. Reduce the time between strong attacks while using the effect. Reduce the time between the skill activation and being able to perform actions. Blade of Death, increased effect duration that reduces the maximum HP. Destined Death, increased motion speed. Extended the duration of the effect that reduces maximum HP. An Alabaster's Lord's Pool, increased attack power, increased poise during casting. Onyx Lord's Repulsion, increased repelling effect power, increased poise during casting. Oath of Vengeance, extended effect, added an effect that prevents staggers caused by blood loss and frostbite status effects. Ice Lightning Sword, increased weapon attack power, increased duration and attack power of the effect that grants the weapon a lightning attribute, reduced time between skill activation and being able to perform actions. Claw Flick, increased attack power, increased poise damage of the finger expansion. Golden Tempering added a timing for interrupting the attack during a series of strong attacks while under the effect. Increased strong attack motion speed, poise damage and stamina attack power against guarding enemies during the effect. 
increase the duration and attack power of the effect that grants the weapon a holy attribute, reduce time between the skill activation and being able to perform actions. Last rise, increase effect duration, increase attack power. Effect against those who live in death has been revised upward. Unblockable blade, reduced FP consumption, increased motion speed. Loretta Slash, Loretta's War Secret Ash of War, increased attack power, increased damage of the first attack and increased poise damage. Corpse Wax Cutter, reduced FP consumption, increased motion speed, range and air speed of the blade. Added the intersection of the weapon part. Zayma Ice Storm, increased attack power, increased attack power to the weapon part. Dynas Finesse, Directional control of the follow up strong attack has been improved. Death Flare increase the duration and attack power of the effect that grants the weapon a holy attribute. Magma's Guillotine increase poise damage and stamina attack power against guardian enemies for the first attack. Corpse Pilot slightly increased attack power. Wow! <laughs> really? Really, guys? Really? I didn't expect the Rivers of Blood to get a buff, but there we have it. Seems as though a lot of things are getting a buff, so why not just increase the damage of the Rivers of Blood? Hey, okay, so Blood Blade Dance added a damage detection immediately after activating the skill. Devourer Wields increased poise damage. Familiar Rancor increased range of the Vengeful Spirits that chase down foes. Rosas' Summons increased motion speed. Thunderstorm increased motion speed, increased duration and attack power of the effect that grants the weapon a lightning attribute. Unblockable Blade increased attack power, reduced time between the skill activation and being able to perform actions. Order of this is Vortex, increased attack power, motion speed and poise damage. Increased poise during casting, reduced the delay between the end of various actions and being able to perform the skill. Upward and downward adjustments, Barbaric Roar, extended effect duration, reduced the time between using the effect and performing various actions, increased strong attack power when used with claw or fist during the effect, reduced uh, strong attack power when used with twin blades, uh, weapons during the effect, downward adjustments, shield crash, reduced the amount of status buildup when used with weapons that have status effects, seppuku, increased damage taken by activation, reduced the bleed status buildup effect granted to weapons, wow, bloodborne ritual, reduced the range of damage animation trigger on other players, damage is unchanged, and bug fixes guys which is lastly, whoo, Added a process to remove the Ash of War from weapons that cannot normally be combined with certain Ashes of War. Fixed dead bug that prevented users from obtaining items such as Great Runes, Crystal Tears, Crap Parts and Ritual Parts when the number of items in the inventory and the storage had reached the maximum limit. Fixed dead bug that prevented users from obtaining Crystal Tear. If you fail to obtain a Crystal Tear, the item will be added to your inventory when moving within the vicinity of the place where you should have obtained it. Adjusted player character control when under certain damage animations. Fixed air bug that prevented charging uh, some incantations while casting them with a left handed sacred seal in midair. Fixed air bug that prevented performing a normal attack from a dash immediately after landing from a jump when a weapon is two handed. Fixed air bug where various action inputs were ignored when changing weapons while moving. Corrected the description of the Colossal Sword physical attack attribute. Fixed air bug where the timing to change the attack direction was narrower than expected for some attacks with grey axes. Fixed air bug where the attack direction could not be changed when performing a charged attack with Ruin's great sword weapon. Fixed air bug where the Highland axes effect was not applied to the skill Shriek of Milos. Fixed a bug where the effects of the Warrior Jar Shard and the Shard of Alexander were not applied to the skill Sorcery of Crozier. Fixed a bug where the effect of the Raw Medallion was not applied to the Regal Raw Ash of War. Fixed a bug where the skill Viper Bite could not inflict poison instead of deadly poison. Fixed a bug where the range of one of the three rocks was larger than expected when casting the spell Rock Sling with a left handed staff. Fixed a bug where recovery time after casting Beast Claw could not be shortened by magic or incantations. Fixed a bug where when attacking an enemy who could not be grabbed by the incantation in Escapable Frenzy the attack will be repelled if the enemy is holding a shield. Fixed a bug where HP and FP could be recovered when changing equipment to certain types of armor under certain circumstances. Fixed a bug that causes death and result in a player becoming stuck in some locations. Fixed some terrain bugs that allowed users to reach unexpected locations with certain procedures. Ha ha ha, rune farming. 
fixed a bug where rendering and collision detection of some maps were different from expected. Fixed a bug where bolts fired with a hand ballista weapon missed the lock on target when the game was running at a frame rate below a certain level. Uh, fixed a bug that could prevent online multiplayer from working properly on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 versions. And several other performance improvements and bug fixes guys. Wow, wow, that's got to be the longest update of any game ever in regards to a video I have made. Jesus, but there's a lot there to go through to try and test within this game. I may just have to jump back on Outer Rings and try a few things out for sure, guys. But yes, let me know your thoughts on the up that down below. If there's anything catch your eye besides the movies of blood seemingly buff. I know we got the sub huko nerf, probably hand in hand, probably balances out the movies of blood if you use them together. Uh, but hey. Let me know your thoughts. But guys, the end of the video has over eyes. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.